Dr. Dan back with us. A new study finding Tai Chi may slow the progression of Parkinson's. Break this down for us. Yeah, this was an interesting study. It was small, but it looked at people with Parkinson's disease and followed them for just over an average of four years. That was really the distinguishing feature in this study um, and looked at the progression of their disease. Remember, Parkinson's is a neurodegenerative disorder that it can affect motor, but it can also affect cognition. So things like gait, balance and the way we think um, and found that the people who were doing a little bit of Tai Chi had less progression of their Parkinson's disease and did better on their Parkinson's medication. So, of course, more study is needed. But, you know, anytime we can bring a complementary approach to any disease or condition, I think that's a win-win. And this was a great example of that. Any benefits for anxiety when it comes to Tai Chi? Well, you know, this is this originated from traditional Chinese medicine, DeMarco. And so it's something that really kind of calls into play balance, flexibility, some breath control um, and anything that does that below the neck can have some good effects above the neck as well. So calming uh, for our mood, boosting the mood, improving focus and clarity. Um, and this is something that really anyone can take a lesson, watch a video similar to yoga, um, but obviously very, very popular in traditional Chinese medicine. I think we should all try it out since yeah, we like to do dog paddling. Jen always says, think. moving is good for you in every way. In every way. <laughs> Doc, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.